Yeah, look, it, we, we want to be we want to be mindful of Lloyd Sam speed, and, and we thought when we made that move in New York, um, you know, it really solidified us and, and it allowed us to be a little bit more aggressive. Actually, uh, it's a defensive move, but it, it allows us to be a little bit more um, offensive. Where Chris can get up, and he's still a winger, and, and he can do certain things. Um, you know, unfortunately, it, 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 we had to take Kellen out of the lineup, which I think Kellen's been playing great, and I thought he was excellent off the bench tonight. Um, but what Kevin was able to do, he's a lockdown defender, and it frees up Chris to be a little bit more. Um, a little bit more of a winger, um, and then the service comes in. So I think, uh, you know, Chris and Kevin being probably, you know, on our team, the two most senior guys, the guys, you know, heck, I, I had uniforms on when I played with those guys. And, uh, and and having them both out there was really important. Right here. What were, your what were your thoughts about how physical New York played today, and kind of responding to that? You know, I, I thought it was a good game. I didn't think it was, it was there, was, there wasn't a, any, anything malicious out there. I thought both, game, both teams, you know, from last game uh, was physical, and then coming into this one was going to be physical. You knew it was going to be physical, and I think both teams um, you know, really went after it. I, don't, I credit New York. I thought Mike Pecky and his group did an unbelievable job. They were ready. Uh, I thought Tim Cahill was a handful all game. You know, I think he was, um, you know, an inspirational leader. I mean, you can understand why he's, you know, uh, just a legend across the, across the, the league and, and in the world. And, and then Thierry Henry, I thought, was just, you know, class on the ball. And so those two guys, when they're on their game, I mean, they're 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 unbelievable. Um, how did uh, Cahill's first goal? Uh, how did you guys? How did that change the complexion of the game for you? And how are you able to overcome that? And also Lewandula's goal. Yeah, you know, look, I, it looked like we had the the first goal handled, and then and then uh, Tim Cahill got his foot in and, and scored big goals. I mean, it, 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 it's it, it's who he is, um, and I think that they were. You could tell how he celebrated and how the group went with him. They, they really were rallied around Cahill. Um, so yeah, we I liked the way we responded. We were bending, but then we then we started to get a little bit more of the game after that, and then I liked that we were able to get a set piece goal. You know that was something we worked on all week. That exact play, um, it was actually a very similar play we ran in New York, and, and we missed the chance. And so we knew that there was going to be some space in that area, and, and uh, we were able to hit on it. Which is I think you get in moments in a game where you need to find a goal, um, knowing that you've worked on certain set plays and certain things that, that you know are going to work. Um, you know, that gave our guys a little bit of energy, and then Charlie finished off, you know, two great chances. Thank you. I think you talk about uh, your impression of Henri, his last game possibly, and, and your tactically moving Kevin Austin to that side, starting. Well, well, Kevin was on the left, on Sam, and Farrell was matched up with, with Henri. Um, and I thought Andrew did an unbelievable job tonight. I thought he was really good. But Thierry, um, you know, even after the game, just, just his class and coming over and, and congratulating us and the manner in which he did it, you know, you you look at a player like that, and I said it last week. Seeing Jermaine and him play against each other was special, being a, a, a lifetime MLS guy. Um, but seeing him tonight on the turf, you know, everyone talked about it, and he didn't miss a beat. He was he was himself, and he created a lot of what they got. I mean, that first goal was just I don't think anyone can hit that ball the way he hit it to to Cahill, um, and, and some of his touches out there were pretty pretty amazing. Coach, congratulations! Everybody plays a great game. Who did you give the uh, game ball to? Oof, you know, I think, well, I, you got I had to give it to Charlie, and I'll tell you why. We were, we were hard on Charlie this week. We thought he, um, we thought in New York, he, uh, you know, he, he always plays hard, but he, he didn't, didn't find the right angles, the right gaps. Um, and this week, we were, we were asking a little bit more of him. Um, and even yesterday, uh, I got on him in training because I, I thought he was, you know, the cold weather on his body hurts him. And uh, he was he was kind of taking it light, and I really want to see him get up to where uh, he was tonight. And I thought today, from the opening whistle, the number of times he got behind their back line early, and then the two chances, uh, you know, Charlie Davies can score, and I think that when he gets in those areas, he's going to put them away. It was actually it was actually Tierney that uh, started the, uh, the the second goal, yeah, in the set piece, yeah. Tierney did a great job. Jay, last year you brought Charlie in, and he sounds like he's it's a long training, but. Well, to be honest with you, last year when we brought him, we knew we were going to keep him around. Um, it, it was never. I, I really felt that Charlie was, you know, after coming back and returning from DC, and then he was going, but then he was back and forth and went to France for a little bit, and then and was moved to another club, and so. I think for Charlie, he needed to get somewhere and just get into a culture of a club and just be like, okay, this is because Charlie's personality makes him who he is. And if he's always constantly moving around, 
I don't think he can become the player he wants to be. So I knew we were going to keep him last year. Even though he wasn't playing, I told him, look, the next – you're not – 2013 really may not be your year. 2014 is going to be your year. And so we talked a lot in the offseason about the way he was going to come in, and, and he came into preseason um, flying and, and picked up a hamstring injury, and it really set him back. So um, I, I do – I credit Charlie on all of it. I think we gave him a stable environment, but – he was fighting for his position every day from when his injury happened through this entire 2014 to the point where when he did get his chance, the staff was rooting for him, the entire team was rooting for him, and I think that he's been the inspirational guy that, um, that when he did get his chance, you could see guys rooting for him. And it was in Dallas where he got his first start, and then as the season went on after that, you could see him taking more minutes, getting more starts, and every time he started, the team wanted to, be, you know, wanted to help him play better. And I think that that's you know, a, pretty, a pretty amazing story. Aiden, um, and two more questions. Both uh, both goals came from uh, assisted and scored by players who grew up here locally in New England. Uh, there are others who are on the team who grew up around here. Um, talk about how that makes an achievement like this uh, unique for the team that you have so many local guys and uh, in front of uh, another playoff that's in its record tonight. Yeah, I think it's a special night. You know, I think those guys are, you know, even Scott Caldwell I thought was just pretty amazing. And, um, you know, we, we have – a lot of a lot of our aggression and the way we play, you know, kind of stems from, you know, kind of a New England culture. You know, I, I was born and raised here, and uh, I think we 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 want that because when you get into the, the trenches and you get into the battles, I really feel that um, that's an advantage for us. And I, I love having guys out there that that have that character and, and, and know that know that who they are. Four MLS Cups you've been through as a, as a player with this team, now you've brought them there as a coach. What do you what do you feel on a day like this when you see a packed stadium and you see your players celebrating and running around? What's that feeling? It, it, it's it's pretty special because um, it wasn't easy. You know, I think we uh, I was just talking to someone out on the field, and um, you know, day one, uh, Remy Roy, my my goalkeeper coach and assistant coach now, we rolled our sleeves up in November 2011 and really wanted to. To build something that would, you know, championship worthy, and, and to, to get back to to where the club was in 05 and 06 and 07. So, it's been a lot of sleepless nights. It's been a lot of uh, a lot of hard work. Um, so there, there's a reward in getting there, but I think that um, you know, for us, the ultimate is getting that the getting that ring. And for me, that's that's what this is all about: getting the Kraft family and how amazing they've been, uh, not only me as a soccer player, as a, as a player here, but now as a coach, uh, getting them, you know, the, the due uh, the due ring. Uh, they deserve it, and we want to get it for them.